Anyone familiar with Jack knows how much he enjoys life and loves to have a good time. It's difficult to find a picture of him where he isn't smiling. Here's one of his first. And this one where he's practicing his Billy Graham pose as a young Bible school student. He's always ready for a good laugh and not afraid to provide one at his own expense. It's just the way he is. And it's this self-effacing, down-to-earth, real people quality that has drawn so many to his ministry and to Christ. His work began when he was just 17, and his parents announced they were traveling to the mission fields of Belgium. One can only imagine his feelings as they turned to leave and he realized he'd have to make it completely on his own. He'd already gained quite a reputation as a musician, so those initial years of his work found him performing on his accordion with the likes of Billy Graham, George Beverly Shea, Cliff Barrows, Leonard Thompson, and at Youth for Christ meetings. These early years in Bible college laid the foundation for another enduring Van Empey trademark, his amazing memory. To this day, his gift for memorization and rapid-fire recitation of verses continues to fascinate his viewers and effectively teach as few other techniques can. He'd prepared himself well. He had scripture committed to memory. He had his music. What else could a dedicated young minister ask for? Of course, a wife. And so typical of the Lord, he provided just the right woman to blend perfectly with a man. Throughout the years, they've shared it all, the music, the ministry, and the cats. For up to 40 weeks per year, 12 years in a row, it was life on the road in church crusades as ambassadors for Christ. This was followed by area-wide city crusades, television specials, radio, and now weekly television programs. All the time standing shoulder to shoulder with Jack, Rexella has provided the perfect blend of helpmate, homemaker, confidant, and truest friend. The two are inseparable and as single-minded in their dedication to the Lord as two people can be. As Dr. Van Empey has said, I wouldn't be in the ministry today without her. And to be sure, the ministry would have taken on a much different look without Rexella. Area-wide crusades in the state's top 260. Many of these were broadcast as nationwide television specials from places like Carnegie Hall, the stage of the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, the Waikiki Shell in Honolulu, the Los Angeles Convention Center, and many others. This U.S. crusade circuit was interrupted from time to time with a worldwide outreach that began in South America and took the Van Empies to 50 countries. The early 70s saw the start of a radio outreach that within several years was being translated into 83 languages around the globe. During this flurry of Christian evangelism, some 10 million people had attended the Van Empies' mass crusades with 600,000 being saved or restored to Christ. Then it all abruptly stopped. The Lord had shown Jack that it was time to speak out about a disease growing in the body of Christ, a disease which threatened to tear it apart. In his book, Heart Disease in Christ's Body, and in a courageous keynote address to his peers at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention, Dr. Van Appy exposed the senseless discrimination and separatist attitudes which had infiltrated Christianity. This lone voice speaking out for true Christian unity and fellowship with all of God's people would forever have as its centerpiece Christ's unfathomable love for all who believe. This new attitude demanded to be shouted from the rooftops. And so in 1980, Jack Van Appy presents a new weekly television program was born. It combined the talents of Rexella as masterful interviewer and first lady of sacred song with doctors incomparable teaching style and powerful messages. The program sometimes originated from global venues like London and the Holy Land. Those hour-long specials continued as well from places like Washington, D.C. 
and Israel. These new endeavors were a resounding success. The ministry was now reaching more people in a single telecast. The Lord blessed the Vanapie's faithfulness with some of his own, and in 1988, a new Jack Vanapie Presents hit the airwaves. The program's format, unique in all of television, features Rex Seller reading up-to-the-minute news reports and headlines, introducing all the visuals, including Doctor's favorites, the cartoons. Then Doctor takes over for his unique analysis, clarification, and biblical commentary. This is where his years of diligent study, evidenced by his 17 doctorates and his amazing memory, take over. In a blizzard of quotes from sacred scripture, he can humble the arrogant or bless the believer. Nobody does it better. Rexella, always the pivot point of the anchor team, adds just the right tender touch of her own, and it's off to a new topic. In 2008, Doctors Jack and Rexella decided to give the program a fresh new look. From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empey Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empey. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empey Presents. God needed a champion. The church needs doctrine and a revival. Let's restore the preaching of God's Word, the singing of the old hymns, the Ten Commandments, and God's demands for holy living. Dr. Van Epi was raised from his deathbed coma for his greatest challenge ever. Dr. Van Epi has spent every waking moment praying for a message from his past that could help his faithful followers and partners more than any work ever prepared during his 70 years of ministry. In the light of Christ's imminent return, he studied slowly and searchingly for God's guidance. We are the generation who, after 20 centuries, are about to experience the greatest event in world history, the return of Christ for 1,000 years and then for all eternity as heaven is transferred to earth. Congratulations, Dr. Jack Van Epi, good and faithful servant for 70 amazing years. <laughs>